Well, god damn, ladies and gentlemen, we got another disaster happening in the gaming industry, in the gaming news. Everybody clap it up. Let's go for two likes on the video for real this time, okay? This is important. A lot of people are getting hacked. Their PCs are getting hacked. Yep, their entire PCs. And if you are not aware, I highly recommend you watch this video and share it with your friends because just the other day, you're probably familiar, but it's gonna lead and it's gonna make sense in just a little bit. TGG came out, says that Rockstar Games, y'all need to get a community manager or something. GTK Online is literally unsafe to play on PC and you haven't even let players know. We do not even know if you're aware of the issue. It's 2023, wake up and come to the party, he said. My God, they're doing helicopters with their release. They're busy like shoving their uh, their thumbs up their asses. They got shark cards money. Uh, they need to print that dollar dollar bill, but they probably do not know. But however, this is surprise. <laughs> I, I cannot even believe this, bro. Like, they actually came forward and they said this. We are aware of potential new exploits in GTA Online for PC, which we aim to resolve in an upcoming planned security-related update. Okay. So, this is where a lot of people, like, started clapping up for them. But then, this happened. However, check this out. Okay, I got this video I want to roll for y'all. It seems Rockstar has found a new way to gouge the player base. Gouge might not be the right word, but here's what I'm saying. I don't know if you guys remember, but back in December, Rockstar introduced a new drip feed vehicle to the game, the Anis 300R. But there was a slight twist. The car was only available up until December 28th. You only had two weeks to purchase this vehicle before it is gone forever from- They, they got you in with that FOMO, man. Game, if you didn't purchase it back then, you would not own the vehicle. I'm one of those people that did not purchase this vehicle, and now I do not own it. We all thought this was a one-time thing. We thought it was strange that Rockstar would make a vehicle only limited for two weeks, only available for two weeks, yeah. I should say. But unfortunately, it seems that Rockstar is developing a habit of doing this because today Rockstar tweeted out, pick up the Weenie Issy Rally in GT Online only available <laughs> through February 1st, which means we all- Man, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. They wanna have, they wanna make you buy, buy this, but if you log on, your PC can get hacked. Your entire PC can get hacked. That's the thing, guys. That's the catch. So don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Only have six days to log into GTA Online and purchase this vehicle. And if that's not bad enough right now, as you guys know from my last upload, the PC version of GTA 5 is so bad right now that everyone is recommending you not to even log in because the hackers have gained Damn. the ability to execute remote code on your system to translate that nerd speech. What that basically means is if you log into GTA Online on PC, you have the actual real chance of getting your whole computer hacked and infected and having all of your passwords leaked to the hackers if they Damn. remotely execute code on your system. So nobody should be logging into GTA. And this is off topic, but this is important for everybody, okay? For everybody, regardless whether you play games or not, uh, there is a massive hack going around. I recommend you check out Upper Echelon video. He made a really good video. Basically, what what's happening right now is that Adobe After uh, Craft or something, I don't know, Adobe Reader, Adobe Reader, Bruh. right? You might get an email that will tell you to open that up and it would be saying copyright or it might say something else because these hacks are really getting advanced. So if you get that program it, it, and if you get that email, it's very hard to say if it's legit or not legit. So my point here is that if you get any suspicious email, it might look legit, but you want to check the address of the email. And secondly, if you get any emails from Adobe Reader, for normally they do not send you emails saying copyright, hey, your content's getting removed, hey, this is going to happen to you, hey, update this. They will not tell you that. They will send you newsletter for their products. Even then, you want to be very, like, uh, conscious of that stuff, okay? Be very aware. So, if I'm seeing a lot of people getting hacked. And this is a new hack going around that can hijack your credit cards, your banking information, your entire PC. So, this is, like, beyond gaming, okay? This is beyond gaming. For sure, with GTA Online, your entire PC can still get hacked. And this is beyond gaming again. But outside of gaming, through emails, a lot of stuff is happening. So, definitely, uh, I highly recommend you guys to be very, very aware of that online right now but rockstar is uh posting this vehicle that is only available through february 1st and now people from the fear of missing out now because this vehicle isn't going to be available again in the game yeah are having to are basically being lured into logging into gta online in the state that you shouldn't be logging into it because of rockstar games incompetence if rockstar games was smart they would not encourage their players to log into gta online right now out of fear of missing out of this car they would actually shut down the servers on pc and say hey guys we're closing down the uh, we cannot do that we gotta make that money servers, so that way no one's computer gets infected until we fix this issue but as you guys all know rockstar are is a terrible company 
and they just don't care and give a shit about their players. On top of that now, since you only have six- Bro, like, the reason we don't have GTA 6 is because of that, man. You you really think they're gonna shut down their cash cow like that? Nah, man, that's like, uh, oh, hell no, we ain't gonna do that. They used to buy this car. Someone might not, might not hear about this car until the last day. They might not have time to grind to make two to three million to buy this car. So out of fear of missing out, they're gonna go ahead and buy a shark card to go ahead and buy this car, which really, truly, that's what I think why Rockstar is uh, developing a habit of making cars available for limited time now, because they know that people out of fear of missing out will give real money on shark cards to hurry up and buy the car last second before it is taken down from legendary yeah. motorsports for good. And I think that is a terrible move on end of game. You shouldn't be releasing content for a limited time only. And ladies and gentlemen, this recently happened. We're hearing about the GTSX trailer. That's correct. Click on this video on the screen if you want to see what happened or click the video or not. Don't click the video on the left. Don't do that. Not for you. Not for you. And I will see you right there.